Hi and welcome back to Cooking with Ash. This is episode two, part one. We're doing a pea soup. Let's get cooking. So, equipment wise, one big saucepan, chating, a deep fat fryer. If you haven't got a deep fat fryer, make sure you go online, have a little look how you can do it with a saucepan and some oil. If you're a bit worried, don't worry about it. We'll do fried tortillas. You can just do it with some bread or something like that. It's not a problem. Ingredients wise, four of our white flour tortillas. They've been cut up into wedges. Big handful of mint. Onion diced. Two cloves of garlic diced. The rest of our peas and half a tin of coconut milk. Let's get cracking. So our fried tortillas, deep fat fries, 190. What we're gonna do is take our wedges of tortillas here and we're gonna drop them in the fryer. It's gonna quickly bubble up. So make sure that you take care. Make sure if you're using a pan and a thermometer method, you check online how to do it safely. We're gonna do this in batches. We're just gonna drop them in. Nice handful at a time. Carefully your fingertips. Then using a spoon, we're just gonna keep them moving. Now, fries at 190 degrees, it's not gonna take long at all. It's gonna maybe take about 30 seconds or so. When they become golden brown, we're gonna get them draining. I've set aside a towel on a tray to the side here. And once they're done, and they look like they're pretty much there, careful of the spoon it's hot, careful of the oil it's hot. Let it drain. Bring your tray across. That way you're not taking hot oil across the table. Turn them out and shake them off. Gonna give that a little season. Nice bit of salt and repeat that until all your tortillas are done. All right, all our tortillas are fried, they're all seasoned, they're draining. We're gonna use half of these for this recipe and then we're gonna use half later on for our burrito recipe. All you need to do, make sure they're cool, cling film them nice and tight and they'll last. All right, tortillas are all done. We've taken the fryer out of the way, we've replaced it with a blender. If you haven't got a blender, stick gun will do the job. Uh, we're gonna get on with our soup, nice and simple. We've got two cloves of garlic and an onion diced. That is gonna go into a pan. It's getting hot with a big splash of oil. And that goes in. Now I'm doing this on a slightly lower heat. I don't wanna burn the onions. I wanna keep them translucent and sweet. So on a low heat, I'm just gonna fry them. It's gonna take about three or four minutes and they'll soften up along with the garlic. So our onions, our garlic are all softened. To that, we're gonna add some mint. I've got a nice big handful here. I'm not gonna chop it or anything, it's still on the stalk. All you need to do, run them backwards. And pull it off, we lads. To that, now we're gonna add our peas. This is the last of our bag of peas. Now it's going in. Good crack of salt. Good pinch of pepper. And then we are just gonna cover the peas with water. Now, if you've done our other videos and you've got some stock cubes left, chuck in a couple of stock cubes as well. We couldn't get it in the budget today. However, the mint, the onion, the garlic, and the peas, that's gonna do its job. On a medium heat, which you're gonna blanch that now for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna blend it and it's gonna be ready. It's had about 10 minutes. 
All I'm going to do now is drain off some of the liquid just for a colander and we can always add this back in afterwards when it's all blitzed down if it's a little too thick but we can't take away the liquid once we've done it so this is just a little safety measure make sure our soup comes out nice and thick all right let's start blending so a couple scoops of the peas to our blender coconut milk lid on okay and remember give yourself an air hole if you can see here when i'm blending i'm like this letting a bit of the heat out on low If you've got a stick gun, you just do this all in the pan, like that motion. And look how lovely that is. Haven't had to add any extra. So with that, that can go straight into our bowls if you want it to. Um, we can go straight across from here. I'm gonna keep doing this till it's all completed. And again, can go straight into the bowls. Some of our tortillas. A little bit of oil. Always gonna finish off a bit of pepper for me. And that's it, that's done. Pea soup with coconut, mint, and fried tortillas. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that's nice. That is delicious. Really good with the tortilla. Nice that the soup is nice and thick. Look at that beauty. Mm. This is the sort of thing that people mess around with. Fresh peas, a bit of stock, a bit of water, blended, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. That is absolutely delicious. Vegan friendly again for you as well. All right, Chris, you're welcome. Next episode, we're doing ourselves fish cakes, spiced fish cakes with pak choy. See you then.